booked. We're at 6th and Chestnut. We walk down this street. There's a wild wall right there. Free ATM. Uh, cheapest Wait, food in the what? air. Huh? Free ATM. Free automatic teller machine. Not ATM. Not the ATM you like. So what we got, we walk this way. We come here. We walk. We all saw this. Congress Hall. There's the uh, West Wing. There's Independence Hall. We, over that we, we all did this. Yeah. So we all know what that is. And I got. You got. What'd you get? $10 water ice. I tell you, don't buy food from any of the carts because That's right. they're, they're, even the park rangers, they know it's expensive and they rip off tourists. Go to the Wawa. And what? It's pretty delicious. <laughs> $5 for a couple of water ice is ridiculous. Get the Wawa. There it is, John. There she is in all her glory. The window? No, look, look past the window. People. No, but before the people. I don't see anything after that. Is that bell? You see that bell? Oh, now I do. That's the Liberty Bell. I call it the State House Bell because I like to call it its original name. You like to yell at it. Because it used to say up there. See up there? Look, 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 look. look. Wait, wait. Up there. See that bell? That's mm -hmm. the Bison. I like that bell. But that's the Gettysburg Cannon Bell. But this bell here. <clears throat> A lot of people say to me, they go, Captain. And I go, what? Um, Captain, uh, what's, where's the Liberty Bell? No, they go, what's the big deal with the Liberty Bell? It's just a bell with a crack. They do that? Who yeah. says that? People. Uh, I already made a video with that. <laughs> At I that know, exact spot. Yeah. In the rain. <laughs> in the rain. In the snow. Yeah. Before I lost my goddamn mind. Thought? Uh, well, so this is the Liberty Bell. Uh, tourists. Uh, tour guides will not take you in here because it is a long wait. It's the second most visited attraction in Philadelphia. What do you think the most visited attraction? Uh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, Rocky Steps. Rocky Statue. Very good. No, this is the, this is the Rocky Statue. The no, the statue. Where, oh, really? People see the statue and don't run up the steps. Oh. <laughs> so, so that's the Liberty Bell. Now, the Liberty Bell, people go, what's the big deal? It's just a bell. And I go, well, it's more than a bell. It's the bell that rang when we got our independence on the 4th of July. When was the Declaration of Independence signed, John? Uh, Tuesday. July what? The what of July? 4th. The no, 2nd of July is correct. Uh, the reason why we celebrate the 4th of July is that's when it was do printed. Do, do you do that to all the people? Yes. Sure make them look dumb? Absolutely. Make them feel bad about this? Yes. Because everybody thinks it's an obvious answer, and it's not. Yeah, yeah, John so Adams. Say, when did they sign the Declaration of Independence? I'll do it with it. Okay. Wait, 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 so. When did they sign the Declaration of Independence? They signed it July 2nd. No, no, you pretend to think you think it's July 4th. Oh, okay, okay. good. When did they sign the Declaration of Independence? Beginning of July? Stupid! <laughs> I don't ever come on this tour again. <laughs> well, you see, you only do the tour once. You're not going to do it twice. So, John Adams want, used to write lots of letters to his wife. Hours, you know. He writes lots of letters to his wife, Abigail. And he would say, July 2nd, we'll go down in a day for history. They will know that day for eternity. And she'd be like, WTF, what are you talking about? No, no, she didn't. Do I need to get eggs? Well, no, they, she, uh, she had to stay home with the kids because they, you know, they got they right. smallpox. <laughs> so, uh, Liberty Bell is a symbol of freedom. Abolitionists started taking it as a symbol of freedom in 1830. They would make it for slave rights and all this stuff. That's why the Liberty Bell is a big deal. It's not just a symbol for freedom for us in America. People like Tibet, Tibetans use it. Uh, Nelson Mandela used it. It's a symbol for liberty throughout the world. The Liberty Bell. Cool. How's your water ice? Hey, want to see where? Uh, want to see something that? Hold on. Where we at time wise? Okay. So I'm going to show you something that should be cool, but it's kind of depressing at the same time. I've got one myself. What's that? Something that should be cool but kind of depressing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is the president's house. This is the house where George Washington and John Adams lived when they were president of the United States. Look at that line. It's a bell. It has a crack. It has a crack, people. It's a great crack. crack. <laughs> so that's, that's the foundation to the the, not the White House because it was a red brick house. That's the house. That's the foundation of the house that John Adams and George Washington lived in, where there were presidents, the United States, when Philadelphia was the capital, 1790 to 1890. Why is it not anymore? Uh, they wanted. They didn't want it to be in a state. That's why DC is not a state. 
they want it to be in its own independent place. But, so this is the thing. So they, when they were digging up, when they were building this thing in 2003, this opened October 10th, 2003. The reason I know that is because my ex-father-in-law helped move the Liberty Bell, and that's the day my kid was born. So, oh, nice. yeah, so I know all that. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, they, this used to be a fireplace or something? Well, this is kind of the original layout of the house. So, one of the things in the original layout of the house is this. See how big the house is? The house is so big, right? Nice and big, like your water ice. These, this, yeah, <laughs> probably did. This is the space given to George Washington's slaves. This is a, the size of a slave's quarters. So what they did in 2003, they, they had George Washington's house. They're like, oh, we should make it a, and they said, well, you know what? You can't, you can't celebrate the man because, well, we can celebrate, hold on, stop, edit that out. No, don't. We, <laughs> we can, you gotta celebrate the man, but you gotta point out that the man has flaws. And he had slaves. And Pennsylvania had laws that when you were president, or never president, when you owned slaves in the state of Pennsylvania, if your slaves were in the state for more than six months in a row, they were set free. So what George Washington would do was he would, uh, send his slaves to New Jersey every, like, when the fourth month. So Did they have to walk? It's not that far. Oh, well, yeah, but there's no bridge. Not. So we take, take a boat. They didn't have a bridge in I don't, not, probably not at that time, no. They had a boat. They had to get there. So, what, what, what this, this here is, these are all the slaves' names that yeah, lived. Cool. Austin, Paris, Oni Judge. Oh, that lived for him? That lived and worked for him here. So what would they do is they talk about in, in, it's a conflict. In that building there, the men wrote, uh, all men are created equal, freedom, and blah, 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 blah. And then they own slaves. Why does it say blah, 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 blah? Well, it, it's a, you got to read the fine print. Like when you sign up for a credit card. Right. And like the interest rate can go up to like that. Right. For YouTube subscription and stuff. Like when you're trying to monetize, you got to read the fine print. Right. I don't even, I don't. So. So, uh, all two of his slaves, Hercules and Oni Judge, I know for a fact, ran away. And Oni Judge was 30 years old. Uh, and she, she wanted to start a family. You can't start a family when you're a slave because you're, you're a slave. I hate talking about the slavery yeah. stuff. It's, it's, just, it's, 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 it's a bad thing to happen, right? Well, yeah, and I don't get why, like, why, you know, it was, uh, oh, it was back then, though, you know, it was what they did, like, no, like, wouldn't you just be like, no, this doesn't seem right. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of complexing, and, and that's, that's why this building, this little part here celebrates George Washington, but it also celebrates the slaves that worked for him. Right. So that's, that's, all right, so look, all right, that's it, that's it, we're done. That's a tough one.